Good day, good afternoon, and good morning to you. It is Chris Camel from Sacred Science, and welcome to another day of fossil hunting. I have limited time nowadays, um, so I don't get a chance to get out to the rivers like I'd like to, but finally today is the day, and I'm heading out, so it's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm meeting up with Free Divers Anonymous, the gentleman who was with me, or I was with him, actually, when I found that beautiful point that looked like a Dorito chip that just you saw right through that uh, we left in place, and it was absolutely stunning, stunning find. But I have no idea where we're heading. He's going to send me a, a pin as I get closer, and we're going to go down some creek in some area, and uh, he's got a hot spot. He wanted to show me what he's found. And so we're gonna go check out this hotspot. Unfortunately with this, for all my viewers, I cannot share anything with you. I can't tell you where it is. I can't tell you what town I'm in. I can't tell you what creek it is. But I can tell you this, it's gonna be a good day. So even if we don't find anything, it's still a good day, but I have a feeling that we're gonna find some stuff. So got my diver stuff ready, ready to get in the water, ready to get wet. It's gonna be a good time. Thank you for joining me. I really do appreciate it. And you enjoy the video. Well, here we are. This is the tiny little shallow, shallow creek. So I believe we're gonna be looking for deeper spots along this creek as we hike. And start working deeper spots to get down to that chalky limestone layer. And hopefully we get on some fossils. So wish us luck. All right, I won't get the, the scooter. <laughs> Oh, go here. Oh. I'm not playing it up here. The corner fresher, but damn nice little way. Okay. Sweet. That looks like a spine here. Big bone. It's part of this. Pretty darn cool. We'll try to extricate that, get a better look. But it's really embedded in Matrix. I got it out. I just don't know if I want to chip that away. That's super cool though. Probably old ass wheelbird ray. Awesome. All right, these two rocks obviously fit right together. Look at that. It looks like an associated spine. And I think that is crazy cool. Awesome. There we go. Oh, baby. Huh? Gotta love that. Nice. Another thin, just the enamel. That's kind of cool. Cool extraction here. Got a beater, but another bag. Found this one from the surface. Head down to this creek. Nice day, right, gorgeous. Now the sun's out, no more fog. All right, so look what we found here. All this a lot of big bones in Matrix. Now they don't seem associated, but there are some really cool pieces in here. Very similar to that, what I think is two vertebrae stacked up together. A lot of stuff here, just like that. Look at all this bone in the Matrix. That's just cool. I want to show everybody what other cool stuff is out here. It's crazy. That's a nice chunk. But bone everywhere. 
bone's shallower than where we were sifting. So it's probably Pleistocene. And we're sifting in areas underneath limestone. It has got to be Miocene maybe as much. So it's old. So very cool, cool spot. So Free Divers Anonymous, he, uh, he took off. He had to leave, had stuff to do. And it was early, it was like one o'clock, 1.30. So I figure 1.30 means I should probably go back out and see what I can find. I'm gonna go dive a couple of holes I know on a different river. It took me some time to get here, but not too bad. So I'm gonna dive a different creek and uh, hit some holes that I've hit in the past that have been very productive that not a lot of people know about. See if I can pick up a couple of nice, beautiful uh, mags, some, some cherry mags. At that creek we are in, such an old school, hidden, out in the middle of fucking nowhere creek that everything that happens there has been happening a long time and we found all those megs within that rock layer. So I think they just got chewed up and that's why they're all such beaters. But same time, I'll take a beater meg any day of the week. So it was awesome. It was like between the two of us, like 15 or 20 megs in, in three hours, plus all those other cool things we showed, but they're all beaters. So let's see if we can get a pristine, beautiful Charlie Creek meg. All right, let's get back to it. Classic Charlie Creek Meg, and it is beautiful. Exactly the reason I came here. was a lot of fun. Man, was it a good idea to stop at Charlie's. Five more megs in 40, 45 minutes with a 10 minute hike in, 10 minute hike out. I was there for an hour and six minutes, I think total, and came out with um, five more megs. One beater, but some decent video shots, and uh, one that's virtually perfect. But they're all kind of small, two inches and stuff. But still a great time. And I'd rather have five two inch megs than zero six inch megs, all right? Yeah, so it was good. It was a good day, damn good day. Had a great time with Free Diver Anonymous um, out there on, well, I can't say where, out in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of nowhere. Nowhere, it's nowhere, there's no place to be. There's not even a pin to drop, like, hey, I'm on the road here and no creeks show up on the map, we're going for a hike, kind of thing. It was cool, it was great, I really enjoyed it. And 
we fanned a whole whole lot and moved a whole lot of of of, uh, of gravel and whatnot. And found a lot of beaters, but they weren't quite perfect. But it was still a great time. And seeing what layers they are in different areas is, is very cool, and I really enjoyed it. It was it was a good place. That dude is a good guy, hard worker, and hard player too, man. So he he was cool. Um, outside of that, I think it was a good day. I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, click like and subscribe if you would. Um, get out there. Have a good time. Go exploring. Go adventuring. Get dirty. Damn it. Explore the world around you. For the sake of science. Alright. We'll see you guys.